It is Monday. It is the 1st of April. I'm Monita Rajpal. This is CNN News Center, live from Hong Kong, making news today. South Korea is warning it will strike back if there is any attack by its neighbor to the north. President Park yun hye promised a firm response to any northern aggression. If there is any provocation against South Korea and its people... We'll take you live now to Seoul, South Korea, and CNN's Kyung La bringing us the latest. Kyung. Well, Manita, all the stuff that you're talking about, all this video that we're seeing both from the North and from South Korea is certainly further steps in the war game. India's but Supreme Court is saying no to pharmaceutical giant Novartis. Earlier today, it dismissed the drug maker's patent plea for its cancer drug, Glivec. Uh, India has unusually high standards for granting patents. It's a system that's allowed makers of cheaper generic drugs to flourish. Novartis says the verdict, quote, discourages innovation. Hospitals in China are on alert for a strain of bird flu that's claimed two lives. China's state news agency says the H7N9 substrain hadn't been found in humans before. The two men, aged 27 and 87, lived in Shanghai. A woman in a nearby province in, uh, infected with the strain is currently in critical condition. Authorities don't know how the trio contracted this virus. More than 3,000 emergency workers are still at the site of a massive landslide in Tibet, where 66 miners are still missing. Chinese state media are reporting rescuers have recovered 17 bodies since the mudslide occurred on Friday near the Tibetan capital Lhasa. Crews are battling icy conditions and altitude sickness as the search effort continues. Security has been stepped up at a courthouse in Texas after a district attorney and his wife were shot dead Saturday night. Kaufman County DA Mike McClelland and his wife were found dead at their home. Just two months ago, McClelland's deputy was also fatally shot. U.S. authorities believe the deaths are likely linked. A new alliance between Qantas and Emirates Airlines is well and truly off the ground. It's good news for the Middle East. Qantas is changing the stopover on its Australia-Europe leg from Singapore to Dubai, but it spells the end of Qantas's long-term relationship and partnership with British Airways. Earlier, CNN's John Defteria spoke exclusively to the CEO of Emirates in Dubai. We often talk about the UAE being the crossroads of East and West when it comes to commerce. You are watching CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. You are watching CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. I'm Monita Rajpal. Doctors in South Africa say Nelson Mandela is making progress in his fight to overcome a bout of pneumonia. They say the 94-year-old had a restful day in hospital on Sunday and is continuing to improve. Mandela was taken to hospital on Wednesday for a recurrence of a lung infection. It is the second time in a month that he has been admitted to hospital. Robin Kerner joins us now live from CNN Johannesburg with uh, more on that. Robin? Hi there. Well, not a lot of new information, I must say. The presidency has been updating South Africans right. and the world. All right, Robin, thank you for that. Robin Kerner reporting to us there live from Johannesburg. Thanks. A massive military spring clean has begun in Afghanistan. Thousands of tons of armor, ammunition and supplies are being airlifted out of the country as NATO troops prepare to withdraw. But there are still fierce gun battles between troops and the Taliban in the east of the country. More now from Anna Koren's exclusive report. You are watching CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. Just you are watching CNN News Center live from Hong Kong for the first time in three and a half years. Andy Murray is back up to second in the world tennis rankings. Let's take you live now to World Sports. Alex Thomas, it's CNN London. Hello, Alex. How do you do it? Hi, Manita. Well, Andy Murray's leapfrog Roger Federer in the world tennis rankings after beating David Ferrer in a match. Uh -huh. Another update from me in a couple of hours' time. For now, Manita, back to you in Hong Kong. All righty, Alex. Thank you very much for that. Now, Hong Kong, well, we got more rainfall this weekend than we normally get in uh, all of March, so I've been told. Is there much more on the way? Mari Ramos there at the World Letter Center. Uh, well, Monita, don't put the umbrella away just yet. I don't think we're going to get the heavy rain that we had over the weekend. And, and this heavy rain that you're talking about Thank happened you. between... Yeah, it's kind of like a really bad April Fool's joke, uh, isn't I know. it? Mari. All right, Mari. Thank you very much for that. You are watching CNN News Center. I'm Monita Rajpal, live at CNN Hong Kong. Thank you for joining us. We'll update you the news headlines in just a couple of minutes. This is the...
the number one international news brand. This is CNN.